What's going on, BAM fans? You're watching Brutal Arc Mobile. I'm Asian Romeo. And before we do hop into today's dungeon run, a shout out to Alien Origin, who has officially joined the Brutal Arc Mobile Patreon. Thank you so much, Alien, for your pledge. It means so much to me. Also, he is providing the music you hear right now in this intro. So go to his YouTube channel, hit subscribe and give him some love, guys. And how can I forget the Warzone Temple server, guys? Join their Discord. They run two ARC servers. One is a PVX, the other is PVXC. You can find it on the NA region medium PVX. Without any further ado, guys, hit subscribe and let's just roll on in. This week's dungeon is called The Wailing Chambers. It's a medium dungeon, your cries aren't heard. And the loot pool is Tech Gauntlets, Tech Generator, Gilly Leggings and Tech's Helmet. As we teleport in, just quickly, 81% of you, oh my gosh, this is dark. Wow, I cannot deal. As I was saying guys, Wow, this is so dark. It's got to be the iPhone's rendering, guys. This is just ridiculous. I'll just have to live with it. Uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, 81% of you who are still watching my videos but are still not subscribed, guys. So please, if you're one of those people, take one mo- I think I'm lost. Down south we go. Take one moment guys, hit that subscribe button now so you don't forget. We have the RG room. Got three Argies, get to the corner guys. You don't have to use your compo in here if you don't want to guys. The easiest way is to use, uh, use a sword, get to the corner. How did I miss those shots? That was just direct. I shot directly and it missed them. This is how you should be uh, doing your kills in this room. Just get to the corner and you might have to jump every so often because they will battle amongst themselves to get in line to be killed first. And I wouldn't worry so much about the dead bodies because automatically if there is a dead wild, Argentavis will automatically eat it to uh, regen their health. Well, they should. There you go. He's eating the body. The only thing that will get you in this room, guys, is the heat in the room. You won't take too much damage from these birds. It's just the heat. So keep an eye on your uh, HP. We have one more room to go. Let's see if we can't kill one off or two before they get to us. That's one. <laughs> Darn Bo. Just doesn't want to work. If you notice I'm swinging but I'm not doing any damage because they're a bit too far out of range for my sword so just move it a little closer to them and they'll come closer to you. We'll go ahead and get rid of the raw meat. And this is an optional room too by the way guys. And I could have sworn this dungeon was released not very long ago, so I don't know why they, they've come and released it yet again. We have Focal Chili. I'm pretty sure it was released not too long ago. Simple rifle ammo. Useless stuff unless you want to get new Argentavises. The levels are pretty good in there for the wilds. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go here into this section because we're right here and my gosh why is it the game just seems to get so so dark every time like oh there's a jaboa i need one yeah okay uh, yeah i'll take him 225 but i don't know if he's male or female so that doesn't work for me okay lava jump here we go i am going to um go ahead and use my wings here guys I can do this lava jump trap uh, manually without the symbiote wings. It just requires a bit of waiting, which I do not like. Ascendant pike. Uh, there's nothing there. Where am I going? 
Why do you make empty rooms and there's nothing there? You trying to cheat me? Ark, why are you cheating me for? Ascendant fur leggings. So nothing that great here, guys. Nice. All right. Up to the north we go. We have an axe trap. And we have an event room. And I'm pretty sure 100% that this, that this uh, room is going to be the Arthropura. Arthro Plurus and Titan Bowers. Juggernaut, Titan Bower, and Artho. So the snake hit it will flee from you. The Arthos are very, very slow. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna run to the very, very other side and let the Arthos come to me because they will split off from the snake. It's so hard to see, it's so dark. Here they come. They're eventually coming. Is that one behind me? I can... I swore I heard one. So split them off from the crowd. Uh, snakey, snakey, where are you? There he is. If you'll let me shoot ya. You can sword the snake too as well, guys. I don't think it will attack back. It's just the fleeing wild. And just like that, he's dead. These are those caught up fast. Jump! Make sure you jump, guys, because as soon as they throw their spit at you, it will be one absolute direction. Oh, two hits, three hits, not good. Four hits. Ooh, okay. No wonder my bow is bloody glitched. Here I am going, what? my bow is not shooting. Why can't I pull back? Uh... I swore I heard one behind me. Not good, I'm getting hit way too much. As soon as you see their head pull back and forward, that's when they're gonna do their spit, guys. So just jump. We don't need the implants because we got one last dungeon. So we'll go ahead and keep moving forward. One Kellyan soup. And this lucky bad boy will be two medical brew. Uh, we go, we'll go down here because there's a premium. Uh, not that hallway. This hallway will be our premium just behind axes. Why? I feel like I'm running so slow. What is going on? Don't stress too much about your um, a cuddle bear. Nice. Don't stress too much about your thirst in this dungeon. I've only bought in two canteens. In the end, guys, it's hard to not be scared of a flashing screen or a purple flashing screen when you're thirsty. But in reality, you can go without water for a very... I just rubber banded. Did you guys see that? I just flicked back to where I ran. Ugh, I'm out of stamina. Um... What was I just saying? I was just about to tell you guys something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. It'll come back to me. This room holds the dire bear and dire wolf. Two bears, two wolves. Not much to do about it. It is half armor. Despite you running away, you can get a little distance, but if you're not fast enough, they will catch up to you. So make sure guys, you do have that minimum of uh, recommended. 175 speed if you can 160 that's okay you can still pass jump traps with that speed as long as you use symbiotes as well and take and if you don't have symbiotes just take a a good run up but you still you, you can still make it i think even with uh 150 speed no oh, okay Okay, my bow, it's not, it's pulling, yep, look at it, I don't know why it's not holding the arrow, when that happens guys, switch your weapon or just uh, holster your, ooh, I saw the inside of your face, holster your weapon and re-equip uh, it, because obviously it's a glitch, <laughs> they're eating me alive, 
This room is actually rough. Half armor. So total under 7k, I would, um, if my mass is correct, I should have at least uh, 3.5k armor going into this room, which is not a whole lot of total armor. So obviously they will wreck. Every time they bite me, they're gonna do some damage. Not good. Not good, but who cares because I've got 95 brew sitting right there. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Room done, dusted and complete. Easy room overall, guys. Uh, we have a loot. Just up here. I thought I was going north then. But we're going east. East side. And this Jaboa right there. Um, I want a good male. 375 female. Nah, I, I'll, uh, I don't know what or if I'll get anything else, but what I'm aiming for is, can I just open your bag, please? Thank you. What I'm aiming for is a low female, possibly around the level 100, but I'll take that one anyway. We'll go to the adjoining room on this east side. We've just missed one down south. We'll swing back up and get that one. Neither Jerboa. What level are you, my friend? 315 male. No. Nah. I want to try to get close to max, which is 450. Oh my god, where 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 am I? It is so dark. Where I'm going south, west. We want to head to the west, so. Uh, right here. How hard is that? Was actually good. <laughs> I felt so disorientated right then. Oh my gosh. Oh my good. A gilly. A, a gilly. Ascendant gilly leggings, I believe that was. And one dodo rug, which is the only chest that you need, which is the premium down the very south. The rest is all junk. Running through, who cares? Get hit, take me away. Uh, we're gonna go now to the west and we'll get this one just down south, stemming off here. There's plenty of Jaboa, so I like my chances of a low female. Four or five female. Oh, if that was a male, I would have taken that. All right. So we've got two more chests to go, and this room is absolute clear. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. I've had a long week. Facility key right there, and we don't have anything left to get after this one. Apprentice Tyrannodon saddle. So now we are just going to beeline straight for the facility door. Very, very easy to get to. Uh, this this key guys And this is a clear hallway Before the dire bear room. So you got the axe hallway or you got the clear hallway to choose to go to Make sure you bring some stamina brew ouch stamina brew because There's a lot of running And if you're like me, you don't want to stand and wait. So just drink your stam It has its uses it does. The facility door should be straight ahead. So dark. Oh, rubber banded again. This isn't good. Maybe it's because I'm playing on epic mode, um, which tends to up the graphic a bit. And no, clearly, clearly it's got to be my connection too. Boom, dead. If you can headshot these guys with a shotgun or a uh, comp bow, you should be able to get them down before they even reach you. One hit dead. He just jumped at me. Die. Oh, and he jumped as well. 
And the downfall about having a ranged weapon is when they uh, pin you down. And while I'm here, uh, there was someone on my Discord who I pinned a comment to on my last video where they did mention you can use a bowler for raptors and daedons. Yes, you can guys. I just don't bring them. Um, so thank you for mentioning that on Discord. I'll get your name later and I'll shout you out guy my guy but yes bowlers if you have them bring them in the room you can stop them in their tracks and kill them easily oh was that raptor eating something else i don't know i thought i saw something anyways that is how the room's done we got this west quadrant to go with two loot chests sitting here i don't think there's any traps or wall traps just yet towards the end will be a wall trap so you should be okay two med brew and brew potent if you guys are wanting to know how to make potent med brew which gives 70 healing uh, you need to use potent dust and potent dust you can get from uh, your daily gifts if you're lucky and grinding the, the uh, immune cave is it immune cave or the lava the lava cave I can't remember anymore one of the caves will give you uh, potent dust if you're lucky pteranodons everywhere uh, look at these two they are just synchronized. 15 male. Don't want you, but wow, look at it. Hmm. I might actually have to come back in here and find a pair. If I can find max PTs, I will take it. 330 female. 270 male. Not my cup of tea, so let's just go ahead and move on. Heading up to the north, we have a chest that will swing around to the south. And another Tyrannodon 270 female. Uh, if you guys want to um, respawn these Tyrannodons in the dungeon because they don't have the levels that you require, <coughs> excuse me, don't have the levels that you require, kill them. And when you beat the dungeon, come back in, and by the time you come back in, new levels will spawn. Well, if you want, just stay in the dungeon, kill them off, and just wait for them to respawn while you're in the dungeon. If that's solely your purpose. Otherwise, don't waste time. Kill them off, come back in. Stay on this side of this quadrant, guys, because on the, on the left there, you have uh, another path, and it's just a jump trap you do need to pass to get to the same destination which is up here so do not go the alternate route when it oh pump action shotgun I doubt it is going to be any good but ascendant bronto platform saddle we'll check the stats out soon for now we will get this last one oh another Jaboa 420 mail yeehee I'll take it Thank you, dungeon. 420. Okay, that's good. I'm stoked. Happy as Larry. And one cutlass. We have a pre-made premium. So now we are going to beeline straight up to the uh, last room. I think there might be one more room. Or two to go. I can't exactly remember. But first, we have to get back to the raptor room. Ooh, 420 female. I was going to say... Now, all I need is a low female around level 100, and I should be set for a mating pair. This room, guys, is like Metrodons. Get your sword out before you get in the room. Get to the corner, and before they, they are all on you, spam some med brew, because... This is an important step and will potentially save your life from dying instantly, which will and can happen. 
The brew would just prevent me losing unforeseen HP. And just like the Argy room, they will bunch up and battle amongst each other to be the first in line. So jump in the air, bring them down because they won't come down until you give them attention. Uh, just die already. There we go. Simple, simple. Don't want any of this stuff. 233 pump, as I thought, no good. Now our tech loot and featured loot should be in here somewhere. One adaptogenic serum. I'm pretty sure it's here or it might be in the very last room. There we go, Journeyman Tech Gauntlets. Our featured loot is right there in the Dimetrodons. Wait, have I been saying Dimetrodons? Dimorphodons. Oh, Romeo. They are Dimorphodons, the um, little annoying birds. 120 male. I do apologize, guys. Dimorphodons, not Dimetrodons. And this here will be our first wall trap. Simple. Um, now actually, that was our last room. From here on, it is just all loot and loot before the boss teleport, I'm pretty sure. I say pretty sure, but I'm not sure at all. But anyways, that chest was an ammo chest. Don't eat it. What I'm going to do, I'll go down here because I am I'm certain this room down here is a teleport room. Yeah, it's the teleport room. So once you pass that Dimorphodon Metrodon room, uh, you're, you're free to do whatever you like. It is a pretty short dungeon actually, which is really good. Another ammo chest, 10 arrows in that one and the one before it. Giant bee honey. I'm pretty sure this gives you hydration too. No, it only gives food and plus eight health. So we'll eat it because by the time you get out of the dungeon, it's already expired. What are you hiding back here? 120 female. I'm gonna take you. Exactly what I'm looking for. A nice, uh, if you let me open you up, thank you. I'm like a surgeon. I just wanna be precise and open you. Pelagornis, you are cool, but get out of my way, please. <sighs> Don't need rifles. Rifle ammo. Just gets in the way. It's just heavy. All right, so we have one. Ooh, another Jabal. 375 mail. We have this West chest to get. West chest. <laughs> Say that fast. One enduro stew. So I guess now we can just go ahead and teleport guys. We've got everything we'd need. Got implants we wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and check what we got. Journeyman 610, 82 element to make. Actually not too bad if you want to make it. Got one dodo rug and we have a cuddle bear. So two premiums in that room and the rest of the chest are junk. I mean, usually these dungeons hold junk. It's the premiums that you go for. Come at me, frog man. If you guys haven't noticed or have been around for a long time, there have been some game mechanics uh, changes and updates with the Bells of Buffo, this boss particularly. Before, you used to be able to run in, stand in front of him and he'll be glitched up in the air and you can juggle and slash away until he practically dies. But now, um, they've rid that. He will get stuck and he will eventually make his way out. So this fight is practically a game of uh, cat and mouse where he is the mouse and you are the cat. Hmm. Where 
is it? Where is it? Ah, anyways, I was looking for the auto assist because every time I slashed, it always went towards the bugs. And I think maybe that's how um, they've actually battled the mechanics on the frog. Because when you slash the frogs, when you move a little bit, the frog can escape, but the auto assist on the knife is actually going for the um, dragonflies, so it gets the frog escapes. Just a shame that we can't get rid of a aim assist. Just a bit annoying. What I like to do, oh no, there goes my um, my gear. No worries, it's just one piece and it's my hands, my gauntlet. Come here! Oh, stop running away! Please, come back! Yes, I can go high pitch too. I have my little hissy fits and moments. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Uh, it's just not juggling. Why you not juggle in the air? Boom, nice. I love when the long shots hit after a while. It takes that little bit and you think, will I hit it? Will it? Oh no, there goes my head. Okay, we're changing out. Armor's breaking. Oh, and my top paw is rising too. Wow, yeah, yeah. One thing to, um, I nearly totally forgot. You need to keep your eye on your top hole. These Maganuras will inflict um, poison on you, stamina drain, and the frog boss will inflict top hole. I believe the Maganuras will increase uh, top hole as well, but not as much. But do be vigilant and keep your eye on your top hole rising because once you reach 45 points of topper, you will pass out and that is the end of your battle. There is no way to recover unless you're really lucky and the frog stays way back and the bugs don't attack you, you will wake up. Get away from me! Why you come so cold now? One more hit! Boom! Hey hey! Spin around and dance, Belzy Buffo! You are twisted and pretzeled. Where's your head? Oh no, I didn't do my weekly dungeon! Ah oh, well. Oh well, all good. We'll just have to come back and do that. We don't get the spare element, but hey, we got the boss. We got the win, guys. And thank you so much for dealing with my funky attitude, my high-pitched noises. If you're still watching now, guys, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Show some support, like the video, and I'll see you all next time in my next video. Until then, I'm Agent Romeo, and I'm out. Peace.